Hi everyone, it's Rain here. Welcome to Morning Magic. Today I'm going to pull a card from the Gratitude Oracle deck and the Dark Mansion Tarot deck. So let's see, what do we need to be grateful for today? I dropped all the cards right before I started filming, so they were all over my lap. All right, let's focus, Rain. What do we need to be grateful for today? Oh, this is sweet. Unexpected. There's a very handsome gentleman holding a little fairy. He put his hand out and unexpectedly she arrived on his hand. Isn't that nice? Unexpected. Well, unexpected means surprise, right? Because when something unexpected happens, it surprises you. That's a positive, but it can also shock you, which is a negative. Um, I like good surprises. <laughs> we all have, hey, we can't stop unexpected things from happening, right? Every, everything in life is unpredictable. Um, as they say, the only predictable thing is death and taxes, right? So you may get away with not paying your taxes for many years, but you never get away from death. Um, it just reminds me of I always think that everything will turn out in the end. That's just the way I am. That's one of my beliefs. And I have a great example of this. When I first bought this house three years ago, um, I barely made it through uh, the bank to get my mortgage. I just barely made it. I had enough money. My credit score was just high enough. I'd been saving for years to try to, you know, for the down payment and the legal fees. And when I moved here, I was completely broke because it just drains your, your finances when you buy a house. And within two weeks, I think, my car died, the engine died. And we're talking $4,500 here. And I live rural. There's no transit system. There's no corner store. Like if you don't have a car here, you're completely stuck. Um, and then within a week, my well went dry and I had no water. It was a very challenging time in my life because I just didn't have that money to pay for all that. And the well cost $16,000. I remember calling my the 1-800 number of my bank and asking for a loan and I was flat out refused. I didn't know what to do. I was ready to give up. I was like, I'm going to sell the house. I'm going to go back to renting. And I was just inconsolably sad about the whole situation. But that was an unexpected surprise, those two. <laughs> but from that, I got positive unexpected surprises in the form of people. I actually had to go to one of those second chance, I call them loan sharks, those, I think they're called City Financial or Fairstone, where you go and you can get a loan, but they charge you outrageous interest. So for a loan that I needed to pay for the car, a new engine in the car and um, the well and the plumber and things like that, they wanted to take a lien on my house for 10 years and I had to pay back a thousand a month. It was the only way that I thought I could keep my house, the only way. And I was gonna go and sign the papers, but that morning I called the local branch of my bank and I spoke to the bank manager and I said, um, I wanted to let you know there's a large amount of money that's gonna be deposited into my account. So she asked me the usual where it's from, what it's for. And I told her and she's like, Rain, don't sign those papers. Don't sign those papers. If you miss one payment, they're gonna take your house away don't sign the papers. Plus the fact that I would have been completely poor for the next 10 years. It was gonna be misery, really. Um, and she said, I'll do whatever I can to get you a loan, okay? Don't sign the papers. She worked so hard and she got me a loan. It, it, it was a six year loan. I didn't have a lien, I don't have a lien on my house. And the payments are a little high, but I can handle them. So that was a beautiful surprise that came from a horrible surprise. And with regards to the car, again, I was praying. Yesterday I talked about prayer. I was praying for an answer for the car. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And 
I, I, was, I had asked the mechanic if he knew anybody who was selling a fridge because I wanted to buy a fridge. And there was this guy named Sandy who lived quite far away and I was lucky. I still had the U-Haul rental truck at that time because it was COVID and they let me keep it for two weeks while I was in my, um, um, I forget what it's called now. Um, we had to stay home for two weeks anyway. Quarantine, there you go. Um, so the last day of the quarantine, I went to visit Sandy and talked to him and told him a little bit about what was going on. I didn't end up buying his fridge, but he lent me his car for two weeks until my own car got fixed. Like, it was just unbelievable, all these beautiful surprises that happened. And that's why I always think things will work out in the end. They really, really will. I'm going to pull a little complimentary card here. From the Dark Mansion Tarot, I just zoned out there quickly for a second. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. All right, we have oh the Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. This guy is sitting with all of his cups behind him. He's accomplished. He's doing okay. Um, Maybe that's me. Maybe I'm holding my cigar and drinking my brandy and knowing that I've got all my cups behind me. This just reinforces what I said about how things always work out. And I know a lot of people don't believe that, but I truly believe it. And I think in believing it makes it happen, that things will always work out in the end. Where there's a negative, there's a positive. Life finds a way of balancing itself out. You know, I really believe that. And I hope that you believe that too. And maybe if you don't, give it a try. Just decide you're gonna believe it for a little while and see what happens. You never know. That's the message for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.